Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here bringing you another EX Plus analysis video. Don't forget that in the video's description you can find a playlist of my previous EX Plus analysis videos and a playlist of my tier list videos starting from January 2020. For this video, I'll talk about Noel and Caius. And at the end of the analysis, there's going to be a should you pull section giving you my recommendation on pulling or not. I'm going to go over their strengths and weaknesses as well as which artifacts you should be aiming for. And finally, if they are worth investing and how much you should invest in them. Before we begin, I want to remind you that these are just my opinions and you should always do some research on your own before deciding on things. And hopefully this video will help you on that. So let's begin. Starting off with Noel, because most of you are already familiar with him, if, you, if you've been playing since October. Noel was one of the top units for the Cosmos era, going head to head with the likes of Noctis and Vayne. And honestly, he remained pretty good even after we transitioned into Chaos. I'm not saying he was a go-to pick, but I would occasionally use him in single target fights and I would know, I know that other people did too. That was possible because of his high attack stat, which rivaled those with an EX+. He'll return shortly in the Chaos event with his EX+, and even though this does fix his biggest problem in my opinion, he's by far a perfect character. First of all, Noel does not receive a rework on his skills, meaning they remain with a low hit count, and he has a total of 13 skills, which is very low. You can probably mitigate that a lot with his free skill mechanic, but that does not make the problem vanish completely. He does have an, int an, an interesting kit with rebreaks and gravity shaving, and the fact that he only provides two frame buffs on himself means that he's very easy to pair with any kind of support, even those with that are he buff heavy. My biggest problem with Noel though is that he relies too much on his target being broken, otherwise he loses a lot of his damage from both base skills and his EX. His new Fear Siphon Plus helps with that a lot though. He does over a mild party aura, more specifically 20% attack and speed and 40% max brave, very similar to Vayne even though Noel trades off lower attack and max brave with speed for the party. Take it as you, take it as you see fit guys. Last, I want to mention that one of Noel's skills, and arguably the most important, has the duo element of Ice and Wind, which can work against you more times than being beneficial, since Noel can't imperil those two elements. Recommended artifacts for Noel are 108 attack first and foremost, and then either 330 Max Brave or his young man from the future boost 2 stars. Now let's see if he is worth investing in or not. If Noel is one of your favorite units, then by all means go ahead and max him out. If you are just looking for strong units for your roster though, while trying to maximize the value of your resources, then you have more things to consider. Without sugarcoating this, Noel in my eyes is the poor man's vein or lightning. I would st strongly recommend not using your resources on him because in terms of physical DPS units, we already have Stronger in the game and Jack is on his way this month. Now let's see how much you should invest in Noel if you decide to do so in the end. Giving a book to Noel gives the additional effect to his EX buff to increase the overflow limit of all of his skills by 20%. It's a pretty strong upgrade to be fair if he can utilize that 20% more, percent more overflow. One ingot increases the Noel's max brave by 30%. Yep, that's just it. Just a 30% more max brave. Well, to be fair, his attack was already too high before his realization. Investing two ingots in Noel allows him to begin the stage with his EX buff and two stacks of his last hunter buff, which means he can reach his maximum potential with just one skill. Finally, if you, if you give three ingots to Noel, his EX potency is increased tremendously and he gains access to his Fear Siphon Plus. Fear Siphon Plus replaces his Brave attack and has the following effects. Noel reduces his target's current Brave by 
with gravity, and then follows that with a 4 hit brave attack. This skill has a low action delay if you attack a broken target, but if you break the target with it, then it becomes instant turn rate and your next skill becomes free. So essentially, Noel, Noel can spend one more turn for a free skill indefinitely, as long as there are unbroken enemies. In conclusion, you can use Noel in a single dimensions end stage with just his base X weapon. I should know, I've used him in tier 4 in the past. But if you want to keep using him in Chaos, you need to max him out completely for his Fear Siphon Plus. Now let's move to the brand new unit, Caius. I've been beating my head on how I should present Caius to you, and this is the best I could come up with. Caius is Agrias 2.0. What I mean is he has very few skills and a slow EX, meaning you are going to use HP plus a lot during fights. Let's see what Caius does though. He begins the stage with a passive effect called Heart of Chaos, which is the big red eye above him. What this does is slightly increasing his attack and max brave, while also protecting him from a single lethal hit. If Caius is about to die, he recovers back to full HP, but he loses his, this buff. Caius skills all have plus variants, which he gets access to once he is at 5 stacks of his body and soul buff. He gets stacks for this buff by using any skill or his brave slash HP attack. Body and Soul recovers HP and brave to Caius at the start of his turn and the effect gets greater with each stack. For his skills I'll be talking about his plus variants since they become permanent once you have 5 stacks. His first skill called Pulsar Burst is a 8 hit brave plus HP attack with 180 overflow that grants him the guardian buff. This buff increases his attack and max brave. His second skill called Eye of Bahamut is a 6 hit brave plus HP attack with 150% overflow that deals 50% splash damage and inflicts 4 frame buffs from 4 frame debuffs on all enemies. Those debuffs are defense down, max brave down, Poison and Doom. Doom is a two turn debuff that instantly breaks the enemy when it expires, exactly the same as the one we got so many times from those nasty leeches. Finally, for his EX skill called Inferno, I'll talk about the base version and once we get to his EX plus upgrade, we'll see how it changes. Inferno is a 5 hit AoE Brave plus HP attack that deals split equal damage among all enemies, with 150% overflow that grants him the Curse of Eternity buff and launches the enemy. This also enables the other enemies to be launched immediately after. Curse of Eternity increases his in initial Brave and Max Brave and also increases the maximum duration of his buffs by 2 turns. I hope this was a good enough summary for Caius kit. Like I said earlier, Caius has few skills which means you are going to use his HP plus attack a lot, and that attack in my opinion is pretty average. His frame debuffs are good because essentially they can't be pushed off by enemy buffs, but at the same time you can't have another debuffer with Caius for that same reason. His EX skill is actually impactful like we'll see later, but it's slow and it won't come out very often. Recommended artifacts for Caius are 108 attack and 330 max brave, with Hero of Padra boost 2 stars being a nice consolation prize. Keep in mind that the skill and buff names could potentially be different in the global version, so let's see if Caius is worth investing in or not. If Caius is one of your favorite units, then by all means go ahead and max him out. Favorite before meta, like I always say. If he holds no emotional attachment over you, though, the, then there are other things to consider. As a melee physical damage dealer, Caius is outclassed by a lot of units, Vayne, Shadow, Yang or Jack, coming this month, to name a few. As a debuffer, he offers an instant break, which is nice, 
but it will only be needed in very specific situations. The rest of his debuffs are average at best, which means he won't be your first choice as a debuffer as well. My strong recommendation is to save your resources for a more impactful character. Now let's see how much you should invest in him if you decide to do so. Investing a bug in Caius increases the overflow limit for his EX and tremendously increases its potency. As a very nice bonus, he gets access to his Brave and HP++ attacks. This is a very strong bug upgrade because he gets access to his HP++ immediately and like I said earlier, you will be using it a lot. Giving one Ingo to Caius grants him the usual attack and max brave boost. Moving on. Two Ingots allows Caius to begin the stage with his buffs and with his body and soul being at 3 out of 5 stacks. This helps him unlock his plus skills after one skill use or one brave slash HP attack. Finally, if you invest three Ingots in Caius, his EX changes to a 4 hit AoE Brave plus HP attack which is executed twice. The potency is tremendously increased once again and it also now delays your target by one turn. This makes his EX very similar to that of Tifa with an upside and a downside. The downside is that it's not as fast as Tifa's by any means, but the upside is that it lets you launch all enemies afterwards. In conclusion, if you want to use Caius in Chaos stages other than his own, then you will need to max him out since he's a damage dealer after all. Otherwise, a single book will ma make him a good enough fodder for Dimension's End. And that's pretty much Caius. Now let's see if you should pull or not. After everything we've said about Noel and Caius, what do you think? Should you pull for either or both of them? Let me know in the comments below. My suggestion is to keep this banner entirely, especially if you already have Noel ZX from back in October. This banner is easily one of the worst ones in the Chaos era, and I hope the developers will do justice to, this to these two characters in the future. I will also be skipping this banner entirely, not even doing my usual 50 tickets. And that was it. I hope you stuck with me until the end and that you enjoyed watching or listening to this video. Don't forget to drop a like and also consider subscribing if you like my content. If you have any suggestions of things you want me to cover, I would very much like to hear about them. Take care guys and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!